Qatar sets up an air bridge to help millions in Morocco following a devastating earthquake. Qatar charity signs a deal to reconstruct areas hit by the earthquake in Turkey and Syria last year. Reporters Without Borders calls on Egypt to release Al Jazeera journalists. And finally, ex-Barcelona player Philippe Coutinho is officially on his way to the Expo Stars League. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar has launched an air bridge to Morocco by order of the Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. The Gulf state has sent medical aid along with rescue teams to assist immediate search operations on the ground. On Saturday, a 6.8 magnitude earthquake struck various cities in Morocco, killing more than 2,000 people. Now, international efforts are focusing on search operations to help with civilians trapped under the rubble. Now, Qatar Charity has signed several agreements with government ministries in Turkey to implement educational, healthcare, and industrial projects in numerous cities of the country. This comes as a part of Qatar Charity's efforts to reconstruct earthquake-affected areas in Turkey with the support of philanthropists in the Gulf state. Reporters Without Borders has called on Egyptian authorities to release two Al Jazeera Mubashir journalists, Rabi Al Sheikh and Baha Ad Din Ibrahim. The call was made in a video by Jonathan Dagher, the head of RSF's Middle East desk. He said, quote, their actual charge is their work with Al Jazeera Mubashir. Al Sheikh was detained at Cairo International Airport while he was visiting family in 2021, while Ibrahim was arrested at the same place in 2020. Both journalists have remained behind bars without trial since their arbitrary arrests. And finally, Brazilian star Felipe Coutinho is on his way to Al Dejel on a season-long loan from English Premier League side Aston Villa. The ex-Liverpool, Barcelona, Bayern and Inter Milan player adds Qatar to an impressive list of clubs he's represented. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.